So we're back with another private server video in this one we'll be taking a look at the brand new tech Super Saiyan 2 Rage Vegeta and I actually find him to be a very interesting unit. He actually has no defense raising via super but he has so many different percentages within his kit and in both the base form as well as the transformed Super Saiyan 2 form he's getting so many different percentages to where most of the time he's operating around the 400-500k defensive mark. Here we are against the Cell Max event on this particular rotation. All we have here is Super Saiyan PFB first battles. So that's two key, 40% attack, and then 5% defense. And also remember in this Super Saiyan Vegeta form, he does give all allies 30% attack and defense self excluded. And then he debuffs enemies attack by 20% for two turns after he receives an attack three or more times in battle. Unfortunately, that is only once only, but it is what it is. This is the second appearance. There he ate a super attack from Cell Max, which again, 477k might seem like a lot, but I, I think it's fine, right? I mean, Cell Max is still one of the harder hitting events right now in Dokkan. We now move on to turn six, and we do share a few more links in this specific situation, right? We are sandwiched between the eighth anniversary LR as well as God Goku, so that now gives us five links, right? Saiyan War Race, Golden War, Super Saiyan, PFB, and then Fierce Battle. So that is three key, five percent defense, and I believe that's fifty percent attack, which is pretty good. And I'll be honest, not really much changes, right? He's still guarding. In this form, in the Super Saiyan 2 form, Vegeta no longer needs attacks to build up, which is definitely an added bonus. But in terms of performance, offensively, defensively, I feel like for the most part that he's very similar. And I think that's, it's a good thing, it's a bad thing, right? It's a good thing in the sense that at least you're not sacrificing on offense or defense. But but in a sense, I suppose it could also be considered bad because usually Dokkan design transformation units to be slightly different from their base forms. I mean, as I said, there's quite a lot of similarities, whole load, whole lot of percentages. They're both getting raising attack on super. They both guard. I suppose the one big difference here is that Vegeta's getting a lot of crit throughout the passive. So that is an added bonus in Vegeta's favor in the Super Saiyan 2 form. And he's got additionals as well, which is always nice. He pretty much is designed to be a bit more offensively based, but I feel like his defensive performance is still pretty good. So thank you for watching. What do you guys think of SS2 Vegeta vs. Cell Max? Catch you in the next one.